Hey everybody, I'm JM. I'm Julie. I'm Sandy. And this is our tiny house of steel. Well, it's been about a year since we made our last video about our tiny house of steel and so far so good. So many people have wanted to know more about our project. It was even featured on Steel Master's blog. Woo! Meanwhile, we've been building as quickly as we can afford and the tiny house of steel has gone from looking like this to this to this. And I'm happy to say my wife and I are still happily married. Right, hon? Uh, yeah. And my daughter isn't due for therapy for at least several years. I don't need so let's get started getting all caught up, shall we? Now unless you're Elsa the Snow Queen, winter might not seem like the best building season. But thanks to our good friends in Fishkill, New York, we were able to set up shop for our tiny house of steel and learn a very valuable lesson. A good layer of insulation won't so much keep the cold out, but it will keep the heat in. Starting with the entrance wall to our tiny house of steel, we used a cut and cobble method to fit some recycled polyiso cyanurate or rigid foam board insulation in between the steel studs and filling any other gaps with your typical spray foam in a can. In order to insulate the rest of the tiny house of steel and prevent it from turning into a giant toaster oven, we had to find the perfect solution. Enter closed cell polyurethane spray foam insulation kit. Now this stuff is messy, expensive, and the conditions have to be just right for application. Not only does it prevent the steel walls from heating up or cooling down too quickly, preventing condensation, for the hidden graffiti artist in you, it's a heck of a lot of fun. Well, with that done, it was time to slip in the 14 foot 8 inch steel header, which after a precisely calculated load test, is going to hold up our loft beds at exactly 6 feet off the floor, so there's not an inch to spare. Add to that some windows and a door a good beat of cock, and some solid flashing, and we're ready to wrap this thing up. Well, by now spring has sprung and we're ready to figure out how to close up the entrance to the tiny house of steel, and after a lot of deliberation over the merits, the weight, and the price of wood over steel, we decided to go with the warmth and the beauty of tongue and groove cedar siding. But with the front all wrapped up and the furring strips attached, we were ready to nail one freshly stained cedar board after another, after another, after another, until we were done. And we could say we had the same kind of chutzpah as George Bernard Shaw, who said, What is life but a series of inspired follies? <laughs> By summertime we'd figured out that the sliding glass door and the two windows weren't going to be enough because it got hot. How hot was it? Hotter than Trinidad Scorpion hot sauce. The question was, could we find a window that would fit between the ribs of the steel master end wall panels? In other words, where do you find a 7 inch wide window? On eBay, of course, these stainless steel port windows salvaged from a boat were the perfect fit. And with a little silicone, some cedar backing to screw into, and a nice strip of vinyl butyl caulk, we could finally say, let there be light and air and a little breeze and all that good stuff. Well, with our fancy new windows and breezy cabin, it was time to take our tiny house of steel on the road. Even my dad came to help us raise the anchors. How much up you wanna go? So we emerged from our forested womb to go west, across the Hudson River, to be part of the 2017 Newburgh Open Studios Sculpture Exhibition. Hundreds of people came that weekend to ask, is it art? Is it a building? Is it an experiment? The answer to which obviously is, yes. Do you want the grand tour or do you want the tiny tour? Okay, so this is a tiny house of steel. I have been uh, working on finding a compromise between something that's a lot lighter in terms of what you could uh, compare to a timber framed uh, tiny house, but a lot more uh, solid and uh, four season living, if you want to call it that. Uh, that uh, a uh, regular RV probably wouldn't wouldn't offer. It's my mortgage-free home ownership program. <laughs> you could call it that. Mm -hmm. 